Hey everybody out there, Benedict here. Today we're gonna to do something very, very special. I'd like to take a little studio tour and show you guys my setup, how we record this stuff, and it's gonna be interesting, so come with me. Guitar, cable into our pedal board. We got a Harley Benton Wawa WP60, then a tuner, then the OD5 overdrive, and a delay pedal, the G-Seat, but I like to change that out a little bit. Last time I think I had the Harley Benton Custom One DL5 delay. Both are great sounding and I like them both. So I like to change them just for personal preference and for just to mix things up a little. Then we go out of that, out of the delay, into our amps. At the moment we're plugged into the Marshall Origin 50. I like it a lot. It's a, yeah, it's the classic Marshall, Marshall Plexi kind of style sound you'd expect it to be. And we run it pretty, pretty hot, so the master is up on, up on 10. Preamp is pretty low, so like we get it, the, uh, the power amps cooking and a nice crunchy tone, just what you'd expect. It's then going to here into our UA aux box, just to make sure we don't get deaf. <laughs> and then running into the Harley Benton 12 cap, vintage vertical, as the name states, vintage 30 speakers, Two of them, and yeah, I'd say let's hear it. Oh, don't forget the mics. We're using an Sure SM57 up close, and also Sennheiser 421. So not much magic there. And let's take a listen. <laughs> So you can hear it's pretty dynamic and I like to use the volume knob a lot and the Marshall is capable of reproducing everything that I put into the guitar and cleans up very, very well. So let's get the guitar back into its stand. As you might have seen, we also got a Fender Hadra Deluxe there for our cleaner tones, bluesy, jazzier and great reverb. It's like a staple for clean sounds and Everyone is probably familiar with this, uh, this amp, but nonetheless, let's take a listen. But I need to unplug the Marshall. Now we plugged in the Fender, let's hear it. That's the Fender. Clean sound, like it a lot. Also, I'd like to mention now that we use a plug-in to align all of these three signals to be actually in phase. And that's called Auto Align and works great and automatically sets the your tracks into phase so you don't have to kind of like grab them by hand and it's a very nerve-wracking process. And plug-in does that for us, works great. Yeah, mainly we actually are using those mics and the Oxbox is just like to back it up a little. So nothing too fancy happening there. And that's pretty much our studio setup. What we use, what we like to use to give you the best representation of what the guitars actually sound in here. Um, for acoustic guitars, we actually are using a pair of Neumann TLM 103s. Great sounding mics and also same philosophy, trying to get capture the best sound from the instruments and actually represent them the way they sound in real life so that you guys can actually decide whether you like it or not and without any discoloration or at least as possible. So you know what to do, hit the bell icon and we see each other on Facebook and Instagram. Till next time, bye bye.